my day 104. 104 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the camera on, we'll get going. Day 104. I'm down in closer to the beach today. I'm not at the beach, but still in Redondo. But further west from my house. This is the place where I was at today. Uh, it was day 56, I think, uh, where I saw the bird. The bird ate out of my hand, so I'm going to go by and see if see if they're around today. Let me start the timer. Like I said, I think it's been day 56, I think it was. Let's see where we're at here. Stanford and Carmelita. Let's see if I can remember that. not get lost maybe I'll walk up Carmelita on the way back go see if the people are home oh, that's a pretty not hibiscus it's gorgeous well they got two or three of them down here Wow, I don't know what it is. Nice. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Let me know at the end what the most interesting thing on the walk today, maybe it's these flowers. Beautiful, look at them. Got three, three bushes full of them. Go across the street and look at them. Nice. All right. See what we see today. Always something good. There's the first mail truck. Let me see. We're not even on the... Oh, shoot. That's a dead end. Where are... I can't remember where their house was. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Well, we'll go by the yellow trees again. Yellow bushes again. Yellow trees, whatever they are. Trees blooming yellow. I think we're right here, but I guess I, maybe I went too far. It's up a block. Well, that's a pretty big house there, too. an orange tree. I haven't seen an orange tree in a while. Oh, here they are. They're right up here. I just went the wrong way, of course. Let's see if they're around today. It's an old car right here I saw. A guy looked like he was working on it. Let's see if he's still there. I was there five minutes ago. He may have the gar, gar, garage door shut and gone by now. Let's go see. Uh, he's, he's working on it. He's still in it. Let's go see if he'll say hello. Oh. What is it? Futura. See if he'll say hello. Hello, what year is your car? Hi. It's a 63. Man, it looks gorgeous. Thanks. It's wow. Wow. Look at the inside, too. Yeah, well, wow. the, the inside's needing a lot of work. So. But I mean, the upholstery is great. Yeah, I Floor the, mats I are great. The, 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 the next thing is to get the metal areas repainted. So. Oh, you'd redo the whole thing, huh? Well, I'm, I've got help. I'm doing most of the stuff myself. Wow, it looks like all like a factory. 
I mean, it, look, it looks like you're restoring it to factory specs. Yeah, yeah, pretty wow. much. Wow. 63, huh? Yep. Can I look at the front of it? Sure. Oh, you got lift here and everything, huh? Wow. Oh, man, the body looks great. Wow. 63, huh? How long you had it? I've had it for um, about two and a half years. Oh, recently, huh? Yeah. Wow. Do you have one when you were growing up? Sort of. Sort of, a little bit. <laughs> well, my, the, the long story is my sister's best friend in high school had this exact car. Really? And she, you know, before I could drive, she picked me up and took me around to, we and used to, we used to like row, this? we used to skull. Oh, yeah? And so I've always been fond of this particular body style. And yeah. But, you know, living in New England, which is where I grew up, everything rusts out there. Oh, man, it does. So, you know, now that I'm in California and I've been here for a while, I was just yeah. like, well, this this seems like a good, worthy project. And it yeah. belonged to a good friend of mine in my Falcon Club. Oh, really? And uh, yeah. he's just, he, he had it since 1977. And oh, he just sold it wow. to me. But, um, you know, he got, he got too old. He had arthritis. He couldn't um. drive it anymore. And so... I oh, kept fixing it for him, but but then he's like, "Hey, you should just buy this car from me." <laughs> and so I said, "Okay." Is it automatic so, or stick? It's, yeah, automa it's automatic. It's automatic. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's got the the old, the the, the uh, roll down windows and everything. Oh, it's manual everything. Manual yeah. Steering, manual brakes. Radio manual still works. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, it looks nice. It does. Yeah. I like the color too. Well, the color is a little different. It, oh, it, it is? It was originally white. Oh, it was originally white. And then um, somebody, paint, the guy who before me painted it a kind of a tan color, which was oh. weird with the, with the interior. interior. Yeah. So I, I, my wife said, hey, you know, I was going to paint it white because it was the original color. And yeah. she goes, white with a white top. Nah, I don't do that. Yeah. And so she talked me into this color, and I was like, well, cool. Yeah. Oh, it looks great with the, it, with the interior. Look, and, the, and it matches this. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's what we tried to do. Is oh, it's beautiful. Is we tried to pick up the, uh, the, the color of the interior. Oh, you have great inside. taste. Yeah. I love it. So it's, it's coming. There's more yeah. to do, but, um, you know. Yeah. One of these it days. It looks good. Well, I appreciate you letting me look at it. Yeah, no problem. All right. Well, have a good day. Yeah, take care. Okay. 63 Ford Falcon v Futura. Gorgeous. Wow, look at that. Wheels. It's really doing a good job on the work on it. Great looking car. All right, what do I got here? Like a Gulf Stream or something. I don't know. And I got the, got the crows. That's the Montego, Mont, what's it called? Montego MX. That was parked here when I came and looked at the birds. Still here. Never heard of it. Montego, a big car. Look at that thing. I don't think they drive it much. Fit about 12 kids in there. I'm not crossing. Just good color. I mean, it's a color looks good. Like it's not rusted out or anything. Montego. See if my friends are here with peanut. Peanut the bird. I don't know if they're home or not. We'll see. I don't know if this was their house or the next door. Maybe it was this one. Hey, how you doing? James, James around today? Are they here today? What? Uh, the owner, James, is he here today? I, I go for, for people now. Oh, no, um, is uh, James a key? No, not here. No. I live in Home Depot. Oh. oh, Home Depot. Okay. I just uh, looking, they have that. Yeah. That's all right. Maybe coming for the, maybe 
half an hour? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, they're not here today. Let's see, they go up here. I know I didn't go up here this time. Let's see, I remember where I'm at. See what we see today. I already saw some interesting stuff. We gotta get on the other side of the street here. They got a dog or something. No, he's just walking. All right, warming up today. What a pretty house. Remember where I'm at. Some kind of old car up here, it looks like, an orange. I don't know if that's an old car, but it looks like a big fender. Way up there, I can't really tell. Looks like an orange, it's like a 50, 50 something, 50 something car, but I may be imagining it. Sure looks like it, 50, 50, mid 50s, 56, 57, 55, 56, when the cars were huge, 58. I'm not sure. There's a muscle car challenger. Always something. Two two white Teslas side by side. <laughs> see about 50. Let's see. That's the uh, first muscle car, I guess. That challenger. This sure looks. Oh, maybe it's a boat. <laughs> Those cars back in the 50s looked like boats. We'll see what they are. How you doing? Pretty nice houses back here. The closer you get to the ocean, the bigger they get. What is that Spanish influence on this one? That's nice. Look at that garage door. Nice, a nice big front door. Beautiful. That lemon tree right there. All kinds of stuff. But this orange thing is up here. Maybe it's a truck. I don't know what it is. It's like a 50s Cadillac or something. Yeah, it looks like I'm right. It looks like it's a 50 something. Got it up on. Uh... Have I seen this before? Oh, I think they got it. They were taking it somewhere before, yeah. A modified. Look at this thing. Go. Oh, it's 50, 60, 61. Cadillac, I believe. Look at this thing. I got that jacked up. Oh, it's a 62. Yeah, I like your car, 62. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, do you do all that work yourself? Yeah, like 25 oh. years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I look at the front of it? Yeah. yeah oh, man. Looks cool. Son's working on all his projects. Here. Oh yeah, how are you doing? Good, good. I like your limo here. Yeah. <laughs> 62, huh? Yeah. Wow. Man, that must have been some work. Get yeah. it up on those things and everything. You, you did most of it yourself, huh? Yeah, I did it all of it myself, yeah. Oh, I, you did? My, my son just helped me do the, uh, what was the leaf spring in the front? Wow. Just converted it to all the... Uh, well, you take that off-road, I guess? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Yeah, give it hell off road. Yeah. <laughs> you put about 12 people in that thing, huh? Yeah, it's kind of like a second row of seats. Just so there's like little jump seats. Wow. I guess they call it a nine passenger limo. Man. You know, little divider window and stuff in the front. That's cool. How long you had it? Uh, like 20, yeah, 25 years. Oh, you had it for a long time, yeah. huh? Yeah. Man. Man. $500 truck and an $800 car when we started. <laughs> Oh, you got like a Woody too, huh? Yeah. Man, you got all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Hey, hey, but yeah. 
a channel I walk around the South Bay and look at different things and everything and yeah. see all kinds of cool stuff. I said, guy just up the street has a, it's a 62 Ford Futura. You've seen it? Oh, the convertible one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah seafoam green. It's beautiful. Aqua, yeah, I guess. He's got it painted, right? Yeah, he's yeah, working on it. Yep, yep. Working on it right now. Oh, yep. it's a 46, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's uh, from my father. -in -law. He still has a Redondo. Oh, yeah. He had it? Yeah. Originally? Had it. Uh, well, he's had it since. Uh, like 72 or something like that wow still runs huh yeah no, we just man. Tried it oh you did yeah wow man you got all kinds of school doom buggy you got all kinds of cool stuff 59 caddy. oh that's a 59 oh that's beautiful man they just don't make cars like that anymore you know yeah, this one for uh, 35 years wow had that for 25 years man that's been my wife's family for you know, 50 plus years. They, those cars were so beautiful back then. I mean, every car now looks like a Honda or a Tesla, you know? They're yeah, all just, like, you gotta look at the badge. See uh, kind of you don't even know what it is, man. I saw this car from a block away and I said, that looks like, a, I saw the fins. I said, that's gotta be a 50s, a 60s, but you know, and I said, it looks like, and then I got closer and I'm like, yeah, it's gotta be, you know? <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yeah. That's man. A beat up, but we have fun with it. No, it's, it's, it's cool looking, man. I love it. Man, you got some great cars. You got a lot of car shows and stuff. Yeah, we were. I took this to Cars and Coffee this morning at uh, like Rosecrans and PCH up there. Oh yeah, I all need the to guys check with that the Ferraris out. and Porsches and all that shit like that. You ever I, been? I roll up in this. Yeah, <laughs> it makes them all look silly. <laughs> you ever been on uh, on Marianne? You ever been on Marianne? This oh, yeah. is like a, like yep. the alley yep. with all the, yep. all the Ferraris, uh, Ferraris and Lambos and. Man. My buddy has a shop in there, just behind. Uh, yeah. Behind that liquor store, I guess it is. Mm-hmm the first little commercial building there i go by there about once a month and every time they have like nine ferraris parked out there oh yeah that's crazy yeah i went by there about a month ago and i didn't realize what i was looking at but it was a 58 ferrari i got home and looked it up 16 million dollars oh yeah i mean unbelievable yeah they I just got some crazy stuff I, I remember uh watching one of these hot rod shows and there was a story on that guy that started that business oh really and he said he bought his first ferrari when he was like you know 21 years old or something like that and uh -huh. he knew there's no way he'd ever be able to pay someone down to work on it so he said i better figure this shit out myself oh that's how he got started yeah and then other people are like hey thank you want to fix my car sure and then next thing you know he's in the ferrari business you know well they said they have cars shipped all over the world to him yeah they, people bring their cars to him to have him work on them all over the world because they you know you they have those Oh, they got a little kitty sitting out there, huh? Uh, eight or ten, you know, they always have eight or ten cars parked, but they got like 60 more in the garage. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah that's it's unbelievable. Yeah, I go by there like about once a week just to see what they got parked out there. So. Yeah, sometimes I always drive down the alley. When I'm yeah. Coming home, yeah. Just to check it out. Cut yeah. Because nobody knows about it. It's just down that little alley, and then all of a sudden, boom, yeah. multi million like dollar cars. Multi million dollars for the cars. <sighs> in the alley. It's unbelievable. Well, I appreciate you letting me check out your cars, man. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. All right. Have Take a good care, day. Yeah. Okay. See ya. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Always something in this neighborhood. Where I walk, you're always going to see something cool. No, what was that? 60, what is 61, 62 Cadillac, yeah, 48 wood, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Man, beautiful stuff. You never know what you're going to see on these walks. Always some type of interesting cars. Cars or dogs or cats or cranes. Storks, birds fly into your hand crazy very short walks we've been walking what 18 minutes that's it all kinds of stuff look at that they got the name of their and if that's their name they got a street sign over their house garage I wonder if that was where they used to live or they had that made up or I mean it looks just like a street sign. Look at that. Argano. Very neat. Maybe that's their name. 
I don't know. I've got to be careful I don't get turned around. Go up the other side of the block. Yeah, here's another old car. See what this truck is. You know, 60, 61, 60, early 60s, mid, early 60s. Chevrolet, I think. Let's go check it out. Wow, didn't see any vintage cars the last day or two. Oh, no, no, two days ago I saw that Datsun. The 59 Datsun, I think. That's a Ford. The early, early mid 60s Ford. They got a TV on the back or something. Ford Ranger F250. F250. I'm not too familiar with trucks. Mid 70s, maybe. Somebody in the car reading their phone. All right, walk back up here and head back. Seen so much already today. See if the there's another Tesla. What have they seen uh, one? I think they just seen the two muscle cars. Somebody else sitting in their car. Oh, wait, somebody in their car. There's a doggy. See if he's friendly. It's a retriever. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? You're friendly? Oh, yeah. Hello, buddy. <laughs> How you doing today? Anybody playing with you? Oh, you're coming up here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, huh? Oh, yeah. You relaxing today in the, in the shade? Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, you like to shake hands. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> I think everybody comes and pets you. You do this to them, huh? That's a good boy, huh? How you doing today? You like to shake, huh? You know how to do that. That's a good boy. <laughs> you get a lot of attention? You do? Does everybody say hello to you? It's a good boy. You a boy or a girl? You a girl, I think. Good girl. That's a good girl. <laughs> you like to put your head up there, paw up there, don't you? You shake with everybody? Just a good girl. That's it, huh? You had enough? No, you want some more pets? Oh, yeah, it's a good girl. You like that, huh? Just a good girl. All right, we'll see you later. You have a good day. Looking right into the camera, aren't you? That's a good girl. Okay, girl. See you later. See you later. <laughs> oh boy, all kinds of stuff. Vintage cars, dogs, RVs. It's a mini Winnie. Looks like they got it revved up and ready to go. I don't know. Nice neighborhood. Got houses from the 50s or 60s. Got like a little, I don't know what that is, a front room with a, it's a little study or something. 
Oh, that's the screened-in porch where you walk in. That was a predecessor to a mudroom, I believe. Whoa, this is a bright house, aqua, very beachy. Got a uh, BMW from the 80s oh, and an aqua house. Got a captain of a ship sitting out front or something. No, maybe he's a... Uh, I don't know. A Spanish soldier. Wow. Look at this house. Spanish tiles. Three car garage. I like that big front window right here. It's not open, but it's nice. Look out on their yard. Wow. Woo. Check out this uh, orange Mustang over here. And look at this house first. That's nice. Three car garage. Lots of windows. Maybe it's for sale. I don't know. They got a, they got a lock on it. Uh, looks like it's empty. No, it says, I don't know. Looks all closed up. Look at this bright Mustang, a Porsche Boxster and a, is it a Cobra? It's not a Mustang, it's a Cobra. It's from the, I think it's from the 80s though. It's bright. Bright orange, can't miss it. That's a Cobra on a Mustang body. That should be a Ford Cobra. See, it's not a Mustang. But I'd say that's from the, from the, from the 80s, 90s maybe? I can't see the back. I'm not going to walk in the driveway. Nice. Man, I ain't walk a mile. All kinds of stuff on this walk. Like yesterday, the most interesting thing I saw was that was a Porsche and uh, what else I saw? Two, two days ago, I saw the old Datsun and the railroad track went right up on a railroad track. Whoa, look at these cool trees. Man, there's all kinds of stuff on this walk. Neatly manicured, like it. That's cool. Guess they keep them manicured like that. I keep wondering the name of that, uh, it's like those little dwarf trees, little bitty trees that you cut on in Japanese culture that was in uh, Karate Kid. I can't think, but these look like uh, life-sized. Those were just little bitty, like in a, keep on the desk. Look, I got another one over here. I can't think of what the name of them are. Mr. Miyagi. I like it. Wow, these are pretty roses over here. Take a look at this. Wow. Gorgeous peach. The white ones out front, iceberg, and then I don't know what they are up here. They're really blooming. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. A whole bunch more coming. Wow. All the rain we've had this year. Beautiful roses. Gorgeous. All kinds of stuff today. There's a purple. I don't know what these are. These are the day glow daisies here. They're super bright. They got some purple ones and a little lemon tree. It's a kitty. Meow. Meow. Kitty, kitty, kitty. He's not coming over. Meow. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. <laughs> no, he's comfortable. All right. Man, I can't believe it. All the stuff on this walk. Really interesting. Walk up 
here a little bit. Go back down and see if uh, Peanut is owner's home. Walk up here a minute and come back. This video is going to be two two parts. Part one, part two. And part one is about over. And we'll go back by Peanut in a minute and see if he's up. See if the owner's back. Uh, something else over here. An old. Is this a. Uh, Oof. Triumph? I don't know. Dotson? Guess we'll find out. Another vintage car. This neighborhood has a lot of vintage cars. I don't know what this little thing is. Getting ready to find out. Might be a Dotson. It is a. That's a, what is it? A sunbeam. Still don't know what it is. It's a sunbeam. Cat's been on top of it. Who makes it? Alpine. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard of it. Alpine sunbeam. I'm not too familiar. Not familiar at all. Doesn't look like they really drive it. Let's see, Alpine. What does it say? Root, R O O T E, five seventeen twenty five. Oh, doesn't look like the whole interior's kind of out of it. What's that from? Let's say the sixties, early sixties. neat doesn't even have a license plate Sunbeam 1725 Let's say 60s pretty neat I never heard of it I don't think I've ever heard of a Sunbeam Alpine Sunbeam the Sunbeam was the name of the maker and the Alpines the model I guess I don't know interesting Man, this neighborhood is full of cars. Interesting cars. All right. What color Tesla is that? No, kind of greenish. I don't know what color that was. I guess we'll go see this old truck that's up here. Since we're right here. Man, what is this? A big, I don't even know what kind of style house this is. Big. I don't know if she's. <clears throat> big blue. Check out this. It's a Ford or Chevy? I don't even know. It's a Ford. Another old Ford. Well, the other one was Chevy, I think. No, well, maybe it was Ford too. They're both Fords. What is this one? Generation 8 Tattoo. It's a Ford. There goes the SS. Good looking car. Chevelle Super Sport. That from the 60s. Everywhere I turn. Unbelievable. All kinds of stuff today. Man, what is this? Another car on uh, I'm not gonna be able to tell what it is, I don't believe. Yeah, they got it all hidden. I guess we can check it out. believe I'm going to be able to tell. Nope. You go by this blue house again. Man. I got a 
see this orange car here. It's all kinds of stuff. What's going on with this house? The front door's closed up or something? Man, I don't know what's going on with this neighborhood. Everywhere you turn, I got the whole front door closed up or something. 